um, is involved in cellular movement, what types of cellular movement, but it's important for uh, cell shape. It's also important for movement of cellular components within the cell, but over short distances. Um, anything that's going over long distances actually uses microtubules, and we'll talk about that in depth. And it's very important for cell motility, and we'll talk about how that works. So in this first example here, we're going to be talking basically about how it's important in regulating the cell shape. And our um, example is in the muscle where we have actin that is involved with myosin. So actin is our cytoskeletal element. Myosin is our motor protein. All movement that's associated with cytoskeletal elements it is also associated with motor proteins in very specific combinations. So actin interacts with myosin. It does so in this fashion. In a muscle fiber, this is the longitudinal di direction. Actin filaments are, are um, organized parallel to the long or to the length of the fiber. And in this diagram, each of these orange things are actin filaments. And they are attached to Z discs in the multi uh, muscle fiber, which occur um, regularly. They're a regular array. And so here is one actin filament. And they're organized in a very specific fashion, such that the plus end of the actin filament is always attached to the Z disc. So this is the plus end of this actin filament. This is the plus end of the actin filament on the other side. Here we have the plus end of this actin filament here and the plus end of this actin filament here. In between the actin filaments, we have the myosin motors. And this is not one single myosin motor, but is a whole bunch of myosin motor proteins all glommed together. And they're glommed together in a very specific fashion where these myosin proteins have their heads in, uh, facing in this direction toward the plus end, and they are moving toward the plus end of the actin filament. These guys on this side are also organized toward the plus end of, end of their actin filament. And they're moving in this direction. Their tails are attached in the middle. And if I was the tail of this myosin, and I have a head out here and a head out here, if I'm walking in that direction, what happens is I pull those fibers, those Z fibers, toward me. So as the myosin molecules walk out, the Z fibers come in and the muscle contracts. Exactly. And then, when the myosin lets go, the muscle fiber relaxes again, and then you can go through another contraction. 